The question of further devolved powers for Holyrood has been in the air since a referendum last year. Now, with the new regime at Westminster taking shape, the Scottish Parliament's Devolution Committee has delivered its verdict on what's been put forward by the Smith Commission and the UK government's subsequent command paper on devolution. Well, this stuff's pretty important. We just had an election in Scotland where the people of Scotland made it pretty plain they wanted some change. Um, we, we, the, I think most of this, the for the Devolution Committee would consider the Smith proposals to be a baseline of the change, but even the baseline hasn't been reached as far as the clauses that have been produced by the, the UK government are concerned, and therefore that's a pretty important conclusion we've come to. The committee in particular were concerned about the impact of the welfare clauses produced by the, the UK government as compared with the Smith Commission proposals, and we, we believe that neither in substance nor in spirit are, are the welfare proposals being met in particular in regard to proposals for top-up benefits and also if the Scottish Parliament ever so decided to bring in new benefits in the future and to do with the, the, work, the, the employment work programmes as well. We don't think that's been properly brought through in terms of the, the clauses um, developed by the UK Government. Specific conclusions reached by the committee include that the UK Government's plans for the devolution of welfare and benefits currently fall short of what was proposed in the Smith Agreement and needs reconsidered that the plans in other areas such as taxation, borrowing and the Crown Estate need further clarification or amendments. That there are many areas, the fiscal framework, no detriment arrangements and the plans for intergovernmental working on tax and welfare where there is insufficient detail for the committee to express satisfaction. Well, we've taken evidence from a wide range of, of people from across Scotland, from Civic Scotland. We've been in places like Hamilton, um, Fort William, we've been to Aberdeen, we've been to um, the, the Northern Isles to carry a fairly extensive process of evidence taking. So we think we're in a very good position and that's why we think that our report is constructive, it's balanced and it's reasonable. And the fact that we've got five, mem five parties on the committee coming to a unanimous view I think tells me everything about how solid the report is and the way it's been drawn up. Following the UK general election, a new UK government is expected to make announcements about its plans for more devolution in its first Queen's speech, which could then see the introduction of a new Scotland bill. This bill will be subject to detailed scrutiny in both the Scottish and UK parliaments, and the Scottish Parliament will need to decide whether to agree that the bill is passed before any devolution proposals become law. You can view the committee's report on our website and tell us what you think or join the debate on social media.